It's peppers. It's gonna get a little bit smoky. You might start coughing a little bit, but it's all we do for the love of food. What's up everybody? Chef Sheldon here, back in Hawaii. Gonna show you another recipe, and that is blistered shishito peppers with some ranch, furukake, and crispy quinoa. Be sure to check out my other videos. Like and subscribe below. See the pancit and see pupu sardines. So this is definitely one of those restaurant dishes. This took me back to cooking in the wok, making things super, super fast, putting it in a pan, just letting it cook and taking it right out. There's nothing like shishito peppers. They're sweet, spicy. You gotta watch out, one in every five might take you out. It's like Russian roulette with peppers, but I love them. When you get them in a pan, they can be smoky. They'll get nice and soft, just super fun to dip in anything. They're great. I'm gonna top it off with furukake, and furukake is a Japanese topping that's mixed with nori, sesame seeds, a little bit of bonito flake, and just gonna add a bunch of umami, a little bit of sweetness to the dish, and it's such great texture. To bump up that texture, here I have just some cooked quinoa, let it drain out, get it all nice and fluffy, and I've got some oil that's been going here. Make sure you get a high-sided pot, because there's gonna be a little bit of moisture in the quinoa, and you don't want that to be boiling over the side of it. That's really, really hot. We're gonna let that cool down a second. This is why you benefit of actually cooking in another studio, because if it burns down, it's not your home. About 350 degrees, if you got a thermometer, use it. I'm gonna test it, do a little bit of sprinkle. You hear that, you know it's good. Put it into there. That's gonna splashy splash a little bit, but hey, we're really cooking. That's only gonna take a few seconds once you start to hear the bubbles start to subside and they're all floating to the top, you're done. I'm gonna take it out and put it on a pan that's been lined with paper towel, let it drain out. As with anything that is fried, you wanna season it once it comes out of the oil and we're gonna let that cool. We're gonna blister the shishito and by blister it, that means we're gonna put it into a ripping hot pan. We're gonna let one side blister on top of that pan and then we'll toss it just a little bit at the end, and we'll be done. For me, the way that I create meals at my house is make sure there's a bunch of poo-poos out while you finish up the main part of the dish. Leave your guests and the people happy. Don't let them waiting for some food. So we've got the pan smoking. I'm gonna go just a touch of oil. That pepper is gonna go right in there, and I'm gonna leave it. Just make sure that you're doing this in a well-ventilated area, which you're not. <laughs> That's exactly what you wanna see. We're just gonna give that a toss and a shake. I'm putting in this hot pan, almost mimicking like you're actually cooking over a grill. Just that super hot fire is creating that nice hot surface and it's actually giving this smoky vibes to this dish. Once I got it turned just a little bit, I wanna season it. Here I have some garlic salt, a touch of lemon juice. Once the peppers are almost done, I'm gonna to wanna to put my ranch on the bottom of the plate here. Nice little pool of ranch. I'm gonna put the peppers right on the side here. Super easy dish, guys. I'm gonna sprinkle my furukake on top of the ranch a little bit on top of the peppers. And then our super crispy quinoa over the top for some texture. Just another squeeze of lemon, touch of pepper, and there you have it. One of my most favorite dishes, blistered shishito peppers with ranch and furukake. They're smoky, sweet, so much texture from the furukake and the crispy quinoa. Just perfect. Go to your Asian grocery store. Go get yourself some furukake. Let us know in the comments how you're gonna make your blistered shishito peppers. And make sure you like and subscribe to see my other videos. Pancit noodles and pupu sardines. Aloha.